En todas partes, Pontex FM 101.1. Hoy estoy con una gran personalidad que me gusta. Es su segunda visita en México, pero su primera visita en Guadalajara. Estoy con Baker Grace. Welcome to Guadalajara. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Nosotros también estamos muy contentos. Se dice que se siente muy contento de estar acá. Y, y primero decirte que eh, nos gusta mucho que hayas estado en el Pal Norte, mm -hmm. en, en Monterrey. Y quiero que le platiques un poquito a la gente la historia. Estuviste abriéndole los conciertos a Charlie Roth. Cuéntale un poquito de lo que viviste en Monterrey en el evento del Pal Norte. Yeah, so I met Charlie because we did Soñar Contigo uh -huh. together. Um, and then I opened for him in a show in Mexico City okay. in September. And we just connected, I think. We really like each other's music, so he was happy to have me at Pal Norte. And it was a really amazing experience. Soñar Contigo, is the, the, the song is... Is your song or is uh, Charlie? No, Charlie. Charlie. Right? Like, there's two versions. Okay. One, just Charlie, and one, me and Charlie. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, you, you just uh, start in Monterrey, empiezas en Monterrey, but early, you you fly to Puebla, Guadalajara. Tell yes, me about it. yes, I went to Monterrey, like, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and then today, I'm, I'm in Guadalajara, I was in Puebla, and then... I, And then I was in Mexico City too. And then tomorrow I go back to Mexico okay. City. Yeah. Siendo que tú eres de Nueva York, you are from New York. So the, the, the cuisine is very different, no? You, you know, the, the cook. ¿Qué es lo que has probado? You eat in another place. ¿Qué es lo que has probado en otros lugares? Como en Monterrey. You tell me about the birria. Le dicen que la birria es muy famosa en Guadalajara, pero no la has probado, no? Yeah, yeah. Um, in New York, there's a lot of different kinds of food. Um, but there's no good Mexican food. No hay comida no. buena. No, dice que no hay comida buena en Nueva York. Really? Why? There, there's good. The burrito, you, you know the burrito or, or something in Mexico, no? Mm, in New York? They have, but mm, it's not good. <laughs> but me gusta chilaquiles. Ah, los chilaquiles. Sí. Pero son muy picosos, a lot spicy, no? Son... Te gusta el picante? You, you like un the poquito. Un poquito. Okay. Acá en Guadalajara tenemos la, la torta ahogada. Que I, I told you it's like a bread in the sauce, sauce uh, a spicy sauce, con, con salsa muy picante. Sí. ¿La probarías o no la probarías? No, no puedo comer pan. I have one here. I tengo una torta. <laughs> ah, no, eso yo creo que. <laughs> esa que tiene una torta. No, no, no. No, no, es a lot of spicy. No, es muy, muy picante. De hecho. Eh, uno como mexicano tampoco la come mucho porque también en Chile demasiado. ¿no? Sí. A, 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 yo probé una vez en Nueva York. Eh, I, 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 uh, the, the famous hot dogs in New York. Sí. Do you know how is the name? I have never had one. Really? Yeah. Es que hay unos hot dogs muy famosos en Nueva York que salen en películas, a lot of movies, ¿no? You know. Sí, sí. Pero no, no son tan buenos. I'm not so good. I, I think no son los mejores. No. No. No, I never even had one. No, no vayas. Don't go there. Not the good. Yeah, don't go there. <laughs> Oye, de, después de estar con, con Charlie Roth, uh, you play with Charlie Roth, hay otras oportunidades de, de hacer another duo With, with another, another Mexican people, I don't know. Yes, I'm actually, I'm going back to Mexico City to shoot a music video with another Mexican artist. Can, who? Can I no. know the name? Wow. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lady. It's a, it's a, a boy. A it's man. a boy. It's a man. <laughs> a little boy? Uh, no, a man. A man. <laughs> a man. Like, like me, old man? Or? No. <laughs> o sea, uno ya muy grande o uno más chiquito. <laughs> <laughs> y conoces acerca de su música? Do you know about uh, his music? I didn't know before we did the song together. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. ¿Cómo podemos dar una pista, a clue of your, your artist? Um, es un rapper y es romántico. Es romántico, o sea, rapero romántico, mexicano. Oh. ¿Qué será? ¿Mario Bautista, maybe? No. You know, no? No, I've met him though. Ah, you know Mario Bautista? I met him once in New York, yeah. Ah, conoció a Mario Bautista en Nueva York. And tell me about the experience. It was cool. We just went to get uh, breakfast. Ah, solo desayunaron, <laughs> lo conocí, solo desayunaron. Y, y los, eh, los, los artistas eh, mexicanos, o los hombres mexicanos, the, the, the Mexican men, mm. are different like uh, New York men. 
from the, the character is uh, a lovely person. I don't know if son amable, es kind person. Son diferentes. Uh, where I grew up, there was a lot of Latinos. Ah, muy bien. So, like, I different from the like typical American. Uh -huh. Yes, but I grew up around like a bunch of different cultures. So. Muchísimas culturas. Yeah. ¿no? Y por eso entiendes un poquito el español, por eso conoces un poquito. Sí. Te lo digo porque los, los mexicanos, there are, uh, um, how do you say, pícaro. En, uh, somos muy pícaros, somos muy, este... Oh, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and a lot of, not, not only for the, the women, you know. Somos pícaros y diferentes. And another cultures, I very cold person, no? And, and the yeah. Mexican guy is, ah, what, what happened? Where the beer? Eh, no? Fiesta, ¿dónde está la fiesta? <laughs> sí. Yeah. Where is your, your, your best men, your, the character of your... Where are the best men? Yeah. I have no idea. No? <laughs> no. I like Mex I like how everybody is really friendly here. Ah, though. okay, friendly, okay. Yes, because I don't like when men are very awkward, like, ah, okay. they're like shy, you know? Oye, ahora, este, después de, de, esto, de esta gira, ¿a dónde vas a ir? Después terminas Puebla, Guadalajara, hiciste Monterrey... ¿A dónde vas? Where do you go? Uh, quiero uh, ir a Tulum. <laughs> a Tulum, a Cancún, sí. a Quintana Roo. Sí, y, y uh, después a Nueva York. A Nueva York, ok. <laughs> o sea, ¿de aquí te irías a gusto a la playa? Sí. ¿Do you like the beach or the mountain? I love the beach. I love, you love the beach. Okay. And you know Tulum or not Tulum? Yeah, I love that ah, place. Ah, ok, ok. <laughs> So, another place in Mexico, otro lugar de México que conozca, que tenga playa. ¿Te gusta playa, playa del Carmen? You know playa del Carmen? Yes, Cancun. Ah, ok. Yes. Y luego, es el Spring Break ahorita, ¿no? Es el Spring Break now, ¿no? Or not? It was like a week ago. Ah, yeah. you, you have the, the Pal Norte? Yes. <laughs> yeah. ¿Has estado en algún Spring Break from vacation in Mexico or not? No, because I don't go to college, so we don't, I don't really have spring break. Ah, uh, do you not have a spring break? No, I just like work, work, work. I, I love your, your, your Instagram and nice uh, pic about your, uh, your song, the Shake the Earth. Oh, yeah. Tell me about the Shake the Earth. Vi en, en su Instagram unas publicaciones que están padrísimas, que son estas, esta fotografía. You write an, a, a lot of words in your body. Te, te pusiste oh, muchas yeah. palabras. Platícame un poquito. Tell me about it. They, yeah, they were the lyrics of the song uh -huh. because I think the lyrics of the song are really special to me, and it's all about like finding that part of yourself that, to fall in love with yourself again mm -hmm. um, after you've been like chasing other people and trying to get attention, and then realizing that you should look inside yourself instead of trying to make everybody else love you. So it's the words are kind of like just showing that and how connected I am to the letters. Shake the Earth is, is a message for what? It's a message that you have what you need inside of you and you don't have to be looking to get everybody else to love you. You need to love yourself first. It's like a freedom, no? It's un poquito acerca yeah. de la libertad, no? Yeah, it is because in this industry, the music industry, like everybody's telling you, do this, do that. Yeah. You should try writing this kind of music. And I was just like, no, I want to do what I feel is right. And I feel represents who I am as a person. And that's really what this song was for me. This no, nobody say to you, do that. Not something is for freedom, you? Yes, and music to me is freedom. Mm -hmm. But ever since I was little, I had a really hard time following directions. Okay. Like somebody would tell me to do something, and I would just want to do the opposite of what no, they no. told me to do. <laughs> tell me about your soundtrack. You have a soundtrack of a movie, no? Mm -hmm. Alicia, Alicia, the new Alicia Silverstone movie, no? Yeah, The How's Last the name Survivors. Of the Last Survivors. If you go on my Instagram, arroba Baker Grace Music, okay. uh, you'll see when it's available for everybody to watch, because I don't think it's available here no, yet. No, but next, next week, maybe, in, in these days, yes. se va a estrenar en estos días la nueva película de Alicia Silverstone. Yes, and uh, I wrote it during the pandemic. Okay. Um, they just gave me, like, the script, uh -huh. and I wrote the songs from that. It was really fun. Okay, but you, you don't know the, the movie? You don't see the movie? 
None of it. It's no. a thriller, ¿no? I, I saw the trailer and, and vi el, el trailer y es como un thriller ese de, de suspenso, es terror o something like that, ¿no? Yes, it's a thriller, but it's also about love, it's also about family, so there's like a lot of meaning behind it too. That is funny, right? But it's difficult. Fue, fue divertido, pero fácil escribir la canción. It was just fun because I was able to challenge myself. Like uh -huh. ah, we okay. were talking about, like okay. I always want to do something new and exciting. Um, so it was a little difficult, but it was really fun. Pues yo solo quiero agradecerte, Baker Grace, for be here with us, with EXA, toda la familia EXA. Bienvenida a Guadalajara y bueno, pues muchísimo éxito en toda tu carrera. Gracias, yes. muchas gracias. Bueno, pues ella es, ya, ya saben, pueden buscarla, Baker Grace, en todas sus redes sociales, ahí la encuentran, Baker Grace Music, y bueno, para que la sigan y sobre todo, pues la acompañen en toda la gira que estará pronto. Y va a estar en Tulum, You're still in Tulum, ¿verdad? Yeah. <laughs> bueno, nos vamos, cuídense mucho y en todas partes, Botex FM 101.1, continuamos. Continuamos.